No, you have not gone to bed and magically woken up in the year 2008. Jodi Arias was back in the news. She went back to court. She was trying to say that her trial was unfair and that she couldn't get a fair trial. And the court pretty much said, yeah, right, go back to jail. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. Yay, some news other than the virus. The Arizona Court of Appeals this last Tuesday upheld Jody Arias' murder conviction and life sentence in the 2008 killing of her ex-boyfriend, rejecting her assertions that she was denied a fair trial. And if you remember that from back in 2008, uh, congratulations, you've got a great memory. Ha <laughs> ha, that was a decade ago, over a decade ago. Uh, but yeah, no, it was a pretty sensational thing. Uh, Travis Alexander was her boyfriend, uh, and yeah, it was a sensational trial. Ares was convicted in 2013 and sentenced to life in prison in 2015 for killing her ex-boyfriend, 30-year-old Travis Alexander. His body was found, stabbed, shot in the face, and slit in the neck from ear to ear in the shower of his Mesa, Arizona home. Now 39... Arias appealed her conviction and sentence, arguing partly that trial publicity, including live media coverage of the proceedings, and a prosecutor's alleged misconduct deprived her of a fair trial and impartial jury. However, Jody, I followed this case pretty darn closely, and the evidence spoke differently. Uh, the evidence spoke that, yeah, you definitely, yeah, yeah you were guilty. Uh, wholeheartedly. The evidence, as far as I saw it before they came out with the sentence, when I saw the evidence, you were guilty. So, yeah, no. Go back to jail. See ya. Goodbye. In a 29-page ruling and a 16-page memorandum Tuesday, a three-judge panel found in part. The prosecutor did engage in misconduct by being hostile and aggressive with each witness whose testimony was inconsistent with the state's theory of the case. Now, Garrett's the prosecutor. That's what the prosecutor does. Still... Arias isn't entitled to a new trial, and evidence overwhelmingly showed she was guilty. Good. Follow the evidence. The evidence would not have permitted any reasonable juror to acquit her of the charges uh, of, of the charged offenses. Good. Good, 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 good. She deserved it. Every bit of it. Uh, life is precious, people. Life is precious. And people that don't believe life is precious, I have zero patience for them. None. A call seeking comment from one of Arias' attorneys, Corey Engel, was not immediately returned. The trial attracted national audience riveted by the themes of sex and violence. Yes, all the, all the triggers that get people to love a sensational trial. Sex and violence and murder and yeah. During 18 days of testimony, Arias admitted shooting Alexander, arguing she did so in self-defense after he lunged at her. She said she remembered nothing about attacking him after the gunshot. However, they did not find any casings anywhere, I mean, uh, any gunshots anywhere else in the place. Uh, the position of the body, they'd shown that, no, it, it, it would have been impossible for him to have done it from that position. Uh, yeah, no. no. She was guilty. She was guilty. I fully believe she was guilty. The jury rejected her self-defense argument and convicted Arias of first-degree murder in May of 2013. That jury found the murder was especially cruel, making Arias eligible for the death penalty. However, that same jury was unable to reach a unanimous decision, and if they don't make an unanimous decision in a death penalty, then you don't get the death penalty. A new jury was impaneled on October 2014 to decide Arias' fate, but it too didn't reach a unanimous decision. And because they had two that were deadlocked, uh, she was sentenced to life without the possibility of parole. Before her sentencing, Arias expressed remorse. To this day, I can't believe that I was capable of doing something that terrible, Arias said. I'm truly disgusted and repulsed with myself. I'm horrified because of what I did, and I wish there was some way I could take it back. Yeah. The regrets, the empty regrets, and the crocodile tears of someone who is sorry that they got caught, in my opinion. Not sorry for what she did, just sorry that she got caught. That's what I believe. We see it all the time. I know people who do that. They will apologize until the cows come home, but they are not truly sorry for their actions. They are only sorry that you know, they have to suffer the consequences. Anyways, I want to bring you guys something other than virus stuff. Yay, there is other stuff than virus stuff out there. I love you guys. You guys stay informed. I'll see you in the next one.